Hello all you shining stars and welcome to my channel Shining Star Soup. Today I'm doing a Sally Beauty Sunday hair coloring. Yes, you heard that right. I am going to color my hair today. And I'm long overdue for it. It's been about three months since I've I had a blue and purple in my hair. It's all pretty much out so I thought I would uh, brighten up and do a little change. All right, so I went to my local Sally Beauty today and I picked up some hair products. I have an idea where I want to uh, have light kind of um, hopefully really really pale blonde at the top and then I'm gonna put some blue at the bottom to have blue tips. That is the look I'm going for. The products I picked up, uh, this one was recommended by uh, the Sally Beauty representative. It's Clairol Professional Soy Four Four Plex S Soy Four Plex uh, Lavender Ice 10V. It has 100% great coverage, and apparently this is for professional use only. I am not a professional, but I am just winging this. I do my hair color at home. Uh, maybe once a year, I will go to the hair salon and get like. Uh, my hair lightened, maybe a little bit of pale highlights put in, but uh, it's really expensive. My last hair salon trip cost me like $190 and I was quoted maybe 110 and somehow by the end of the, the my cat just sneezed, by the end of it I owed $190. And unfortunately when you're at a hair salon, after the work's been done, you can't really argue down the price or at least I don't even try. So I just kind of grinned and bear it. And I was um, very disappointed. So uh, this product, you mix one to one with, uh, I will be using an Ion Sensitive Scalp 20 Volume Bright White Developer. And yeah, it's this one is infused with plant proteins. And I got enough to hopefully last, uh, to split in between the two hair colors because the mix ratio is one to one. Now one thing um, to notice about uh, toner is it's not as damaging to your hair as bleach uh, is going to be. So because I'm already had a pale enough color, according to the Sally Beauty representative, I'm taking her word for it, uh, this should work. And this was the product that she recommended because it worked the best for her. I also did another recommendation. <laughs> Apparently, I'm an easy sell. Like, come, don't, don't come to me trying to sell me a vacuum because I will most likely buy it. I am terrible. It, it's, it's really bad how easily I can be sold. Uh, this product is an absolute perfection booster, step one. And what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to mix this in with the, uh, the cover, and it uh, helps restore moisture, reduce breakage, prevent dryness during chemical services. And that's this little thing right here. I don't know if I can get close enough on it. I'm not too concerned about giving up, giving a, a close up just because you can always go to your local Sally Beauty Salon or whoever you use and ask for Ion Color Brilliance Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1. And I will have that on the bottom there. I will just, I'll, I'll, for all the products, just, in, in case you want to do what I'm doing. Are, are you as crazy and fun as me? <laughs> I don't know. It's fun. I love coloring my hair. All right, so I picked up that. And then for the blue, I picked up Ion Color Brilliance Permanent Bright uh, Cream Hair Color in Azure. Azure. I'm not sure how to say that word. It's a blue. It, it's a nice, it's a nice pretty blue. And this requires one-to-one -one with the developer. I might have a 10 developer left in my bathroom. I'm not sure. If I don't, I will be using 20 developers. So we will see how it turns out. And then after I'm done with those products, I am going to do an after color treatment. And this is again by Ion Color Brilliance. It um, helps close the cuticle and locks color deep inside the hair. So I will be using that. I'm gonna see if that even helps, if my hair color lasts longer. I did pick up a permanent hair color to kind of stretch the time that it's gonna be. And we'll see how my hair feels because I might also do the uh, Beyond the Zone uh, last call, which again was recommended by the uh, Sally Beauty representative. All right, so this is my hair color right now. 
I do have a little bit of purple uh, still stuck underneath. Uh, but the blue that I had on um, from my previous videos, uh, there was a comment on on the blue, and I, I like I I really love the color. I love that blue. I love pastel colors, blues, purples, pinks. I I yeah. I, I just I find reds to be really hard to I guess rinse out, and red really hangs on in my hair so I don't really like um, reds. I prefer cool tone colors. All right, uh, so with that being said, I am going to um, put the hair product on and I will show you guys, you're looking at the before, I will show you guys the after. All right, so see you, well, you'll see me in two seconds, but I won't see you for another 20 minutes developing time. Okay, pause and we'll be back with the, uh, with the middle, um, probably the final result. Hi, so I'm in the processing stage. I thought I'd just quickly um, come on and give a little bit of an update. So what I've done is I've put the toner with the 20 developer and the step one little, little sample thing on the top half. And I got the blue, if you can see, on the bottom half. So. I didn't put my hair back. I didn't use any any sort of, I guess, um, guide or anything. Like I said right at the beginning of the video, I, I totally wing it. I just wing it. Sometimes I end up not getting my whole head. Sometimes I have patches uh, <laughs> in the back because I can't see the back. I really just wing it. And nine times out of ten, it turns out decent. So I'm really excited to see how it turns out. And any stains, like, <laughs> obviously I had to change my shirt because I really like that shirt. I didn't want to ruin it with the hair color. Uh, any stains usually will come out in the shower. Now, the lady at Sally Beauty did tell me that the toner will look purple, which you can't really, you can't really tell with my lighting that it's purple, but it is. But she assured me that when it washes out, it looks white or, or blonde or so I guess um, we'll be putting that to the test all right uh, the next time <laughs> the next time next time you see me uh, it'll be a final result all right it is time for the big reveal so <laughs> um, well it, it kind of turned out it wasn't exactly what I had been expecting but I don't think it's that bad either Without further ado, here we go. Oh, and by the way, hi guys. <laughs> uh, that's not quite as funny as it was the first time I tried it on, but oh well. It, it's a great reveal. Okay, there we go. Now, I mostly blow dried my hair, uh, flat iron it. It's not 100% dry, but you guys can see um, what I did. So as far as I think it did tone the uh, the upper part of my hair and I did get the nice and vibrant blue at the uh, at the ends. So yes, that was uh, that was my Sally Beauty Sunday hair color. <laughs> so um, what do you guys think? Did you like my hair before? Do you like it now? Do you think it's like who cares? It's just hair. <laughs> All right, I hope all you shining stars have a shining star day. Thanks for tuning in to my channel. Please hit the subscribe button and the like button if you haven't already. And have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.